I am here to do a school supply haul video for you. Like I said in my last video, I'm going back to college and um, haven't been back to college in about two years was the last time I was going and it was an online college so I didn't really need anything. But so had to pick some stuff up and I just wanted to share it with you guys in case, you know, somebody else is going back to college. And I know this is a weird time. My college is a little weird. My first day is April 4th, tomorrow. So this video probably won't be up until after I start. But yeah, I don't know why it's that way. It just is. So this might seem like an odd time, but I'm going to do it anyways because I want to. So the first thing that I picked up was a new backpack. And I got the Fjall Raven Kinkin backpack. Um, I actually randomly found this backpack, like a review for it on YouTube, and I started looking into it because I really liked how it looked, and so I went to the website, I read all about it, and it's just a really good, sturdy, waterproof, which really helps when you live in the Pacific Northwest, and it rains from like end of September to like... April? Well, it's April now, and it's not raining, but we had a seriously wet winter. So, waterproof backpacks are the best. Um, I got this one, and I think it's called Ox Red. Yeah. But, yeah, I just really liked it. It was really sturdy. It was really simple. And I need a new backpack, because I don't know where my old one is, because they haven't touched it in, like, five years. That's really bad. But yeah, so, new backpack. Um, the next thing I got, sorry, I don't know if you can hear, but my husband is actually shushing the boys because he wants them to be quiet because I'm filming. But you guys probably can't hear him. But the next thing I got was a case for my MacBook. I have a MacBook Air. I got it for Christmas this past year because my other one was like five years old. Yes, I kept a Mac alive for five years and I'm so proud of myself. But yes, I needed a new one. It was slow. It didn't work well. Needed a whole bunch of stuff done to it. So got a MacBook Air and then got this beautiful blue case. Love it. Um, I think this cost less than $10 on Amazon. I want to say it was like $8.99, not including tax, if you pay tax. And the reason why I wanted this one is because, one, the color was pretty. It was affordable. Well, I guess that's one and two. Third was because it has this uh, this uh, keyboard cover, which is really good because I have a tendency to eat in front of my computer because I eat a lot. I don't know. I eat a lot. But yeah, so I got this. Ever get the crumbs on it? Just pull it up, shake it off, put it back on. It's great. And it also comes with a screen protector, but I didn't choose, like I chose to not put that on because I feel like just kind of screws with the screen and I'm a very visual person so I didn't want to lose the quality by sticking a screen protector on there which can sometimes happen so yes I got a case from my Mac the next thing I got was a five star note binder the reason why I got this was because I don't like carrying a ton of stuff in my backpack I have a bad back I have a bad back and I just don't want to carry a ton of binders and notebooks and I don't I didn't feel like I needed it because I'm only I can only take like a max of like three classes at a time credit wise at my school and so I don't need a ton of notebooks or binders and this one um, you know it's got folders in it that are the dividers as you can see and then um, you can pull these things apart, like so. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, you can pull it apart. So it's like a binder, and you just, you know, it comes with um, loose leaf or filler paper. And that's, you know, if I don't have to carry a ton of stuff around in my backpack, I don't want to. So that's why I decided to get this. Um, I don't know if you guys, here, we'll pull this out. I loved the purple color as well so got that 
And I also, I, I got everything that you're going to see here today on Amazon. So I think this was 20, less than 20 bucks. It was like 19 something. Um, then next for my note binder, I got filler paper and I got just one pack of the college ruled five star reinforced filler paper. And then I got one pack of the, um, graph ruled filler paper. And the reason why I got graph ruled is because I'm taking a math class and I know that I'm going to do graphing in this math class. I'm a little OCD. I like my graphs to be perfect. I like everything evenly spaced. I like my lines to be nice and beautifully curved. And that is why I got graph paper. Um, you do whatever you feel like you need to do, but I really wanted graph paper and I'll just put those in my bind my note binder. Um, the next thing I got now, I would have gotten this whether I was going back to school or not. It doesn't matter. But I highly recommend that everybody has a planner. Whether you use your phone, whether you, you know, just buy a cheap one from Walmart or Target, or you get a super expensive one, um, you're gonna need a planner. For me, I have to juggle my kids' schedule, my schedule, and a little bit of my husband's schedule. So a planner comes in handy. I know where I'm supposed to be, where my kids need to be, and where my husband is. And so I highly, highly recommend getting a planner. This is um, a passion planner. I really like it. It's like one of the only ones that work for me. And since I'm kind of a planner junkie, I know which ones work and don't work. And this one works for me. So if you're looking for, you know, a planner, I highly recommend this one. And if you guys want to see a planner review on my passion planner, comment down below because I'll totally do a video for you. Um, the next thing I got kind of falls in line with mm, the whole planner thing is a calendar wall decal. Now this is a dry erase one and I just got this off of Amazon for I think like eight or nine bucks. And the reason why I got it is just for my school stuff. Um, I can, I'm planning on putting this along the back wall of my desk, but I want to make sure that I know when my assignments are due and I want to be able to quickly just be able to look at it and see that. Or, you know, do I have school on Tuesday or which class do I have or, you know, important dates like a quiz or an exam. And I want my husband to be able to see too. You know, we, when you have kids and you have work and you have school, there's a lot to talk about. And sometimes me and the husband, Nick, do not always, we're not always able to talk about it. So I want him to just be able to say what's going on in Sarah's world a little bit and just have it right there. So he can see it, I can see it. If there's any conflicting schedule things. He can say, hey, I see you have an exam on that day, but I have to stay late at work. We need to figure something out. So that's why I got that. Um, next, I got these Paper Mate pencils. Like I said, I'm taking a math class, and sometimes when you're doing math, you make a mistake, you need to erase it, your lines aren't straight, for whatever reason. Um, I got this pack specifically because I really like these pencils and because they have the um, twist up erasers. I hate making a mistake and I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, like I said about the craft paper. So if something doesn't look right, if my writing looks weird, I have a tendency to just be like, I can't stand it, I need to erase it. So having these erasers is so nice for me because I can chew up an eraser in a month of school. So always nice to have these. And bonus, comes with lead. Um, then, just to prove how much of a perfectionist I am, I also got and tried out a pack of friction pilot pens, or pilot friction pens. Um, basically, you can erase these pens. And I don't quite know the science, of it other than the ink reacts to the heat of erasing it with 
this little nub, and it makes it disappear. And it does in everything. Like, it works pretty well on most paper. The only place I've ever had a problem with it, actually, is my planner, which is a little disappointing, but I still like them. Still going to use them for school. Got black, blue, red, and yeah, they're really good. I highly recommend them. I got these at Target. I think these are the only thing I got at Target. Yeah, everything else came off of Amazon. So yeah, highly recommend these pens. Um, and then I also ordered off of Amazon highlighters. And these are the Pilot Friction highlighters. Because, I don't know. I'm not like being endorsed by them or sponsored or anything. I just really like them. I got the um, fluorescent and the soft for, for, oh, I swear I can talk. The soft fluorescent. And I've been using them in my planner. They work pretty well. Still have issues erasing them in my planner, but nothing else seems to be a problem. And yeah, highlighters. And I recommend just get highlighters. You're going to need them in college. You don't have to get these ones. Just any highlighters, you're going to need them. Highlighting in your textbook, highlighting in your notes, get highlighters. Uh, the next thing I got was this pencil case. And this, I know they sell it on Amazon. I actually got this at a local store just down the road from my house. Um, it is a bando pencil case and it's just, it's so cute. It says stay focused and on the inside it's got these cute little hearts. I don't know if you guys can see them or if that's even focusing. But yes, I got a pencil case. And then for the one teacher, that is going to dock you 10% of your grade because your paper is not stapled. Yes, real life, that has happened to me. I got a little mini stapler to keep in my bag. Um, I am also taking an English class with my math class. And um, yeah, so I got a little stapler, comes with little extra staples. Got this at Target for like two or three dollars. And yeah, it's this cute little blue stapler. And off of Amazon, I got this little clamshell case that I got to keep my headphones in, which I do not have my headphones here. I had to order a new pair because the problem is, is that for some reason, my headphones, my earbuds, always get ruined. The kids find them, they pull the rubber piece off, I can never find the rubber piece again, or I can only find one, and it is annoying. So I finally ordered myself a pair of really nice headphones. I'll probably put like a clip in or a picture. Um, but I really am hoping that they are nice and I like them. So I want to keep them safe. And so I got this to keep them in, whether they're in my backpack, in my purse, in a diaper bag, just laying on my desk. They will be in this case because I don't want them ruined. And it is just a simple clamshell with a carabiner. Um, it's got like soft felt on the inside and a little mesh bag that you, I think, put them in. I'm sure I'll shove other stuff in here with my headphones, but seriously, just don't want any more broken headphones. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, what everybody needs in college is I ordered my textbooks off of Amazon. I don't know why teachers make you do this. Like, I get I get the math book. I totally get it. I really, English teacher, professor, we're going to use this like twice. And you know it. And I just had to pay a ton of money for it. Like, I don't get why teachers make you do that and then you rarely ever touch your books. But... Textbooks, you need them. They're heavy, they're expensive, they suck, but gotta have them. And I think that's it for my school supply haul. haul. That's all I got. I didn't really feel like I needed much, kind of a minimalist. But I'm hoping that all this stuff, other than maybe the planner, will last me. Well, maybe the highlighters and the pens won't last me. But I'm hoping that the rest of it lasts me two years, because that's all I have left of school. Just two years, and then I'm done. So, yeah. 
I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you, like I said, want a review on that planner, comment down below. I'll totally let you know. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up it. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you later.